Welcome Earth Signs and thank you for being here today. This is your weekend love message for weekend commencing Friday the 16th of July through to Sunday the 18th of July 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight into uh, your crowning messages and see what your overarching message is for this weekend, Earth Signs. My eight, oh, okay, so first card out is hope. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning message to the question? How? Thank you. Okay, we've got a uh, bonus card for you. So we've got hope, we have re-energize, and we have awareness. All right, okay. So I feel like your cards really want to speak to you we all in yeah we're pretty much there aren't we all right let's have a look at your crowning wisdom messages now all right my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question how does these soulmates of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Weekends commencing Friday the 16th of July through to Sunday the 18th of July 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crap? Thank you. Okay, so we have got reconciliation and calling in your soulmate. Beautiful. All right, Earth Signs, let's now take a bit of a deep dive and see what your overarching message is for this weekend okay so earth signs so for your first card we have for your crowning message is hope uh whatever is going on with you and whoever you are connecting with i do feel as if you're try you're being guided to hold on to hope um i feel that there is um a, a sunshine that's coming that's trying to come through this weekend and i feel with the colors of the chakra system here i feel as if it's going to create balance all right um with re-energize um it, it is what what it says on the tin really um earth signs i feel as if you've been running um at both ends burning the candle at both ends it's a time to slow down re-energize and i feel as if as you do that with the awareness card that came out as your bonus it feels as though uh that you're being guided to almost um stop re-energize and kind of look around you um because i feel as if there's something that you're not seeing you're being guided to be aware of what is going on around you you may need to look under a rock look under look look in between the lines read in between the lines um yeah, I feel that you're being called to don't give up hope on this rather than um, focusing on lack, maybe focus on um, something that you are, feel hope feels. That's what I'm feeling. Feel as if whatever it is that is worrying you right now, um, you may you may be throwing yourself into work as a bit of a distraction, but I feel that you're being guided that actually if you are more aware of what's going on around you um, and look underneath that stone or look, read in between the lines of a situation, I feel like it's going to make you quite happy and that may restore hope. In this card, it feels as if you're looking a little bit despondent unsure i feel as if balance is coming towards you you may be avoiding a situation but i feel that when you uh just stop for a moment um check what's going on maybe check what is being said i feel as if um 
you're going to be quite pleasantly surprised. I feel as though something is going to be illuminated to you that 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 is going to almost instill hope or bring about hope. So keep your vibration up, take some rest, re-energize because I feel that you're being guided to see what's coming towards you and it's to do with reconciliation calling in your soulmate. So for those of you that I'm reading for, either somebody's calling you in or you're calling in somebody. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So I feel as if um, you may have lost hope in this connection, but I feel as if, I feel that they're calling you in. It could be vice versa. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. You may be calling in somebody, but there is definitely reconciliation here and there's a return of a past connection. It could be a past life connection or it could be somebody in this lifetime that you perhaps thought there was not a lot of hope. OK, and I feel as if um, you've kind of been avoiding it. You've been avoiding calling them in. Um, maybe you've lost hope, but there is reconciliation. You both could be calling in each other. But whoever you are connecting with um, Earth signs, I definitely feel that they they are your, your soulmate. You're definitely calling them back. Something's occurred um, that I feel that you need to be aware of. There may be something this weekend that you almost kind of need to look over your shoulder. Look underneath um, that rock. Look and see if um, messages come through to you. It's like you're, I feel that you're being guided to read in between the lines of something. All right, um, Earth Signs, if this message is resonating, please feel free. Look, they just showed me. They just showed me, caught my eye, the Eight of Cups. One of you walked away from each other. We'll get into more detail. If this message is um, resonating, Earth Signs, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. It helps to, to push this video out to more Earth Signs. If you haven't subscribed already, um, welcome. And uh, please feel free to click that subscription button if you would like to. And returning subscribers, welcome, welcome. Thank you um, for your support, encouragement, donations. I'm truly, truly grateful. And I really do hope that you get a meaningful and useful message out of this weekend's readings. All right, Earth Signs, you can also find me on Instagram and TikTok. So please feel free to join me on those platforms as well. I welcome your encouragement. All right, um, so... We are recording. I had to double check there for a moment. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus fall towards them in love? Weekend commencing Friday the 16th. Whoops. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? That's the first time that I've caught my reading cloth and it, unter it turned over. I feel that there's something you need to uncover. There's something that you need to uncover, uh, Earth Signs. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Weekends commencing Friday the 16th of July through to Sunday the 18th of July 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. All right, Earth Signs, we're going to start with our Tauruses. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how to... Thank you. Wow, you're definitely being illuminated. What did I say? There's communication that's coming in. Taurus, uh, back and forth communication. Uh, something's big, going to be illuminated. You're being guided to be keep yourself aware. Oh, jumping into these readings. Let me just get all the cards out. My angels and spirit guides, thank you. And we have the devil card. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell? Ooh, okay, that's too many cards, but I will take the two cards that fell face up. We have the wheel of fortune and the five of swords, okay? 
I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna look but I did I've got to put them right side up okay all right all right let's focus on our Virgos my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Virgo Sun Moon Rising thank you so we have the uh, Knight of Swords thank you we have the Tower and one more thing oh okay thank you we have the six of coins and for our beautiful capricorns thank you so we have the uh, ace of swords we have the temperance and one more please for capricorn my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does the soulmates of capricorn sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love weekends commencing friday the 6th th thank you oh wow we have the six of cups all right earth signs um if you want to go straight to your zodiac sign um please feel free to click down into the description box all links will be there um, and to take you straight to your um, reading. Uh, right now, we're just going to focus on our Tauruses. Okay, so Taurus for you, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Devil, the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords. Okay, so I feel as though those of you that I am reading for, um, you and the person that you're connecting to have definitely gone through some major transformation over some sort of conversations, disagreements that didn't go down too well. It may have resulted in the two of you separating, which is why I feel as if there is reconciliation. Whoever you are connecting with, Taurus, I feel as if uh, there's going to be back and forth communication. This person has been illuminated or they're going to be illuminated in some shape, form or another that um, it's time to perhaps put these uh misunderstandings um arguments it, it's time to put it behind them they may have lost a little bit of hope um they could be uh, burning the candles at both ends uh, perhaps even trying to avoid uh communication but i feel as if they are being guided to be aware um, that there's major transformation going on between the two of you. And I feel it is to put this battle behind you of lack of communication, arguments, misunderstandings, putting that behind you. With the Wheel of Fortune, yeah, I feel as if it's definitely you, Taurus, that's calling in your soulmate. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is in, in your favour. So I feel as though... Uh, what whoever said what it doesn't even matter it feels as if this person wants to communicate with you after going through transformation having some time to reflect okay um and i feel as if you're the one that's calling them back in i feel it's you that wants reconciliation and it's going to turn out in your favor you could be dealing with a capricorn or you could have capricorn in your chart let's have a look at your clarifiers my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please thank you. And do you know something I was about to say? I'm sure that I saw the full card at the bottom of the deck, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, my team is saying, yeah, you did. Uh, this person, I feel as if is coming in with communication after being illuminated by divine spirit universe, being aware to perhaps read in between the lines with you, uh, Taurus. And I feel as if this communication is about a new beginning that they want with you. And it's because they are, um, you are their wish fulfillment. You've lived many, many lives with this person. Um, so it, uh, when I first started, it was very clear that you are definitely calling them in. They may actually be calling you in as well uh, for this new beginning. I feel that this person sees you as their wish fulfillment. You guys have lived many lives together. So this may actually be a reconciliation of a past life connection but i'm also picking up it can it's also a rec reconciliation with an existing relationship you guys may not have actually been in a relationship um but i feel as though whatever discussions 
or communication that didn't really, that was a battle. It feels as if a real battle to communicate with each other. You're both, you're both being woken up to that. It could have been a bit toxic. I feel that you both feel very much um, uh, bound together. With the devil and the wheel of fortune here, I feel as if Taurus, you feel as if you have a soul contract with this person. All right. And I feel as if they're waking up to realize that with you. Could be dealing with Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. Oh, thank you. Did another card flip? No. Yeah, look at that. The tower moment's over. Really beautiful. I'm really, really pleased to see that combination. Um, you know, the, the tower and the devil card together normally is just like a massive no-no. Like, it's just loads of stuff that needs to gunk, that needs to be cleared out. But I feel as if the transformation between the two of you is basically, you both um, are calling in each other. Um, because I feel that you both want reconciliation, whether or not it's an existing relationship or whether or not it's somebody that um, that you were just getting to know. And for whatever reason, there there was, you know, bad communication, lack of communication, mix ups. OK, um, I feel as if there was a tower moment, but it's over, which is really, really beautiful. That tower, this person's definitely been illuminated that perhaps they do need to communicate with you. Wow. Look at that. And it literally fell out of my hand as I picked up the deck, the lover's card. I feel for you, Taurus, you see this person as your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate. They see you as their wish fulfillment. This person knows that you have lived past lives. They know that this is a past life connection. Um, and I feel as if you feel very, very... Um, uh bound to this person that you you feel like there is a soul contract okay could be dealing with a gemini or you could have gemini in your chart thank you wow okay taurus you see this person as long-term commitment marriage material i feel as if it's fated if this is what you want with this connection i feel as if the wheel of fortune is going to turn in your favor i definitely and remember i said i felt strongly instantly it was you that was calling in this soulmate and i feel with that nine of cups in reverse i feel as if you're not sure whether or not um, the tower moment the two of you had has um, hampered this this calling in of your soulmate. I feel as if you you want long term commitment, uh, uh, marriage with this person. You see them as your ultimate twin flame. Um, with the nine of cups face up, that is all about um, this person brought you a lot of happiness. Um, it was overflowing. Um, they were your happy. I feel as if it being in reverse is like you're not sure. You're not sure because of that tower moment. And I feel that you're not sure whether or not that tower moment has really affected the overflow of the happiness that you see with this person. Uh, you may have got you. Yeah, you've lost hope. That's what it is. And I feel Divine Spirit Universe is coming in and saying, hold on to hope. Uh, you may have thrown yourself into work, all right? Re-energize, because I feel that if you look underneath all of this, okay, um, communication coming towards you, if you're uncertain how this person feels about you, I feel like they're going to say something that you're going to have to read between the lines and you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Hold on to hope, all right? Turn that nine of cups the right way up um, because I feel as though uh, this is actually a really beautiful uh, connection, um, uh, Tauruses. And for your bonus card, we have, okay, why have those come out in reverse? Okay, they've come out in reverse. Oh, okay, because the card, I was just checking the cards are the right way up. I feel as though this five of swords, whatever battle you guys went through poor communication lack of communication arguments disagreement not being on the same page it prevented change it prevented a cycle being closed out um i feel as though it's 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 happening now it's it's happening um i feel as if it's just telling us that this non um closing of a cycle is finished because so is the battle okay so i feel as if as the battle 
changes as this person comes in to communicate. I feel as if the 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 blockage to uh, trigger change is going to turn itself around. It's going to be in your favour. I feel as if uh, the two of you may have wanted to rush in to fix this connection, but for some reason, both of you may have um, given up hope on the connection. That's all changing. I feel it's because this person is coming in to communicate that they want a new beginning with you. And we've got the death in reversal. Yeah, you guys were preventing transformation um, because you weren't communicating with each other. Eight of wands in reverse. So you've got all of the reverses, but they're clarifying the five of swords, which for me is really, really positive because the five of swords is all about upheaval, battles, um, poor communication. With all of these clarifiers coming out reverse, it tells me that that battle is over. So change is going to happen. The two of you will come together. Transformation will happen and communication will happen. And that is what is what's put in this battle of lack of communication, uh, disagreements, um, uncertainty, putting it behind you. And I feel as though it's whoever you're connecting to is coming in with communication that's going to trigger this wheel of fortune turning in your favour. Beautiful. Let's have a look at your advice. Whoop. Protection. Yeah, this connection is very protected. Keep some aquamarine close. Mermaid tears have been known to create these precious gems. I feel as if both of you, um, particularly you, uh, Taurus, you may have even cried some tears over this connection, but I feel as if just know Divine Spirit Universe, Mother Earth, as always, has caught those tears. And I feel as if it's going to provide you with great wisdom, great knowledge, knowing that this connection is protected. Okay. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you, thank you. And we have dive. You don't find pearls on the seashore. So I feel that you're being guided to dive into this connection. Re-energize yourself. Dive in so that you can see the bigger picture. Looking underneath that rock. Reading in between the lines that this communication is coming in. And dive in and have hold on to hope. Okay, without hope, without, um, you know... I suppose without hope, without having trust and faith in divine spirit universe that you will be shown the way. Um, diving into your uh, emotions, diving into transformation, recognizing that this is um, a, a past soul connection um, and that you guys were meant to somehow with this wheel of fortune come into, into union, um, even if it was an encounter, possibly to separate to then come back together so it feels as if it's a full full blown 360 cycle that you guys have gone through all right um, and it's closing so dive right in and enjoy this connection and final advice thank you voyage absolutely set sail on a new course this is um something that has been transformed uh, to take you on a new journey um and i'm i'm really really pleased to to, to see that because it is protected i feel as if you had everything um you 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 thought nothing but great stuff about this connection but there was something to do with communication that threw you guys out of balance um and i feel that this person wants a new start wants a new beginning you i feel as if you've always wanted this person you felt that connection but with that nine of cups in reverse i feel as if you lost a little bit of hope um just know you are on a new course, a new direction, because um, you both have been calling each other in. Beautiful. All right, Tauruses, I'm going to leave that there for you. If this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Let's move on to our beautiful Virgos. Okay, so Virgos, for you, we have the Knight of Swords, 
the Tower and the Six of Coins. So Virgos, I feel as though whoever you are connecting with, they may have a uh, they may want to rush in and speak some sort of truth to heal some sort of tower that happened between the two of you. I feel as if on your side um, that you, it may be to do with either you didn't give equally into this connection or they didn't give equally into this connection. That's why this tower moment was created um, or why it happened. And I feel as if this person wants to come in and perhaps speak their truth. Um, I feel as if you do want to balance out this connection and put this tower behind the two of you. So again, I feel as if this is a connection, Virgo, where two people have come together, either an existing relationship um, or... Um, you have encountered each other, getting to know each other. Something was said um, that created a tower moment between the two of you. And I feel as if you feel that you need to give equally into this connection because I feel that this person wants to speak their truth or they have already spoken their truth that they didn't feel that you were putting into this connection equally. Um, and therefore, it created a bit of a tower moment because guess what? No one tells Virgo, uh, you know, the most nurturing of all the Zodiac sites. How dare you say to me that I have not um, uh, given into this connection? Um, oh gosh, Virgos, you must have absolutely flipped out um, uh, if that if this is resonating for you. But there's definitely reconciliation. And I feel as if you are both recognising that you are each other's soulmate. I feel as though um, this tower happened um, more of a, a, as a blessing. Whatever was said, whoever uh, didn't give equally to this connection, it wasn't meant to go down like that. So I feel as if Divine Spirit Universe almost brought in a tower moment in order to build the two of you up. That's why you're being guided, I feel, Virgo, to read in between the lines of whatever this person is saying um, and hold hope. Because I feel that you both are calling each other in. Let's have a look at your clarifiers, my angels and spirit guides. Oh, thank you. So I feel this person has, with the Eight of Swords, I feel as though this person has been in a bit of a mental torture, really analysing what was spoken, um, conversations that the two of you had. Um, again, all around communication, there was something around communication that created this tower moment. But I feel as if they're coming through it, okay? Um, they, they may have just needed to rest. I feel as if they may have taken a lot of time to analyse uh, this connection. Um, in terms of conversations that you've both had with each other, I feel as if they're going to be re-energizing this weekend um, and rebuilding hope, wanting reconciliation, calling you in, having an awareness that you are their soulmate. With the Queen of Swords, I feel as a result of whatever conversations happened that created this tower moment, this person cut you out. Um, they said something quite blunt, all right? Um, and I feel as if this weekend they almost want to clear that up. Yeah, and they will do because they're coming in victorious. They recognise, and I said that, they recognise that you are their soulmate. They may see you as marriage material um, with that reef there, but you are the only person for them. They're seeing this as victorious. Whatever tower moment happened, do you remember I said it feels as if it was more of a blessing? Uh, they're seeing that as that, all right? They're seeing that the tower moment between the two of you actually was a blessing in disguise. With the Ten of Cups, are uh, uh, Virgo, this person is your 10th cup. They are your happiness. Um, and I feel that you went within to really figure out how you can balance this out. If it was you that didn't give equally into this connection, I feel as if you're going to change the script on this. Um, I feel that you're being guided to be aware that's what you needed to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold hope. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold hope. I feel as if Divine Spirit Universe is guiding you towards your happiness with this person. That cough that came over me, I almost feel as if you perhaps didn't speak your truth with how much love that you have for this person. I mean, the Ten of Cups, for heaven's sake. You may not have really given to this connection, but it's not what 
it's not how you felt. You may have actually been literally uh, focused too much on work, burning the candle at um, either side. And it may have been interpreted by your person as that you didn't care for them or you didn't give equally. Through this period of uh, re-energizing, just resting and breathing for a hot minute this weekend, that's where you're going to get the wisdom. I feel as if you want to make wise choices, okay? Um, and I feel as if part of that is, is helping you to reconcile because I feel that you are calling them in. But you want to be wise, take wise steps, choose your, 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 your words carefully. Yeah, look at that. Two of coins. Uh, you feel really unbalanced. I feel as if, Virgo, it was you that didn't give to this connection equally, okay? And I feel that this person said something and then they regretted it. <laughs> but it, in a very strange way, it feels as if what they said, even though it may have separated you both for a hot minute, uh, they're coming out victorious because it made you stop to realise that you didn't give to this connection um, and that they are your ten of cups. You know, they are your soul soulmate. Um, you may have been in deep prayer manifestations for your soulmate, not really realising that they were right on right on your doorstep, right under your nose. Beautiful. Let's have a look at your advice. That, oh, strength. Okay. Stay afloat and feel steady and calm. Yeah. Um, and I feel that's because you do feel a bit unbalanced because I feel like you know that actually you didn't give equally into this connection. So I feel as if Divine Spirit Universe is saying have strength, have courage. Um, you, you are, you've got this. OK, um, I feel that you need to be handling the situation with um, calmness, with steadiness. Um, get that unbalance out of um out of whack get it out of your energy um the hope i feel is coming it's coming in this weekend that guess what this person i feel um uh, uh has is coming back round okay especially if they cut you out all right um i feel as if that is the piece of information underneath that rock okay that's going to make you smile okay that really flipped in my hand and I'm going to take it and look at that. Breathe. Break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea. Yeah, I feel as if you may have definitely um, just thrown yourself into work. All right. It almost feels as if the two of you uh, got out of balance because you're probably uh, working too much. And as you separated, you probably threw yourself even more into work, Virgo. Uh, I feel that you're being guided to breathe, uh, seek wisdom, seek guidance. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Virgo, that's your energy. Um, you could be dealing with another Virgo, but it's you that I feel that is being guided to um, seek wisdom, seek guidance. I feel as if that light is shining you back to this person. It almost feels as if you have to be truth to, truthful to yourself, Virgo, that you didn't give to this connection. Uh, this person said something, might have been a bit cutting, uh, but it was it was the right thing because it triggered a tower moment. It triggered you to realise that this person is your 10th cup. And I feel that you're being guided to breathe. Um, this reconciliation is coming. Have hope. All right. It's going to balance out. OK. And look at that. <laughs> Not even funny, is it? Generosity. What good is treasure if you keep it for yourself? You have been focused on yourself and work, which is not a bad thing, but I feel that you're being guided to be generous with your time if you want this reconciliation, because I feel that this soulmate was right underneath your nose. You may not have realised it, but you know what? The tower moment woke you up um, to, to recognise that this person is your 10th cup. Beautiful. I'm going to leave that there for you, Virgos. If this message resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Let's move on to our Capricorns. OK, so Capricorns, you have got the Ace of Swords, Temperance and the... Um, 
Six of Cups. Okay, so whatever's going on with the two of you, all right, um, there is definitely reconciliation. There's been a separation because guess what, Capricorn, you're missing your person. I feel as if whoever you are connecting with, with the Ace of Swords, there was some sort of truth that was spoken or they... Um, they may have expressed their um, truth. Uh, they want a new beginning. They want to come in and um, speak their truth, which tells me that that means that there was something that kind of went away that the two of you may have separated. But guess what? You're reconciling, okay? I feel as if both of you have been very, very patient with each other to give each other that breathing space um, to re-energize, to reflect, to be aware of what you speak to each other, maybe to also be aware for you, Capricorn, how much you actually miss this person. Um, and I feel that this time away has made you appreciate actually the level of connection that you have with this person is quite deep. And you would be correct because you have lived many, many, many lives with this person. Um, I feel as if you're both calling each other in. They want a new beginning, uh, but I feel they want a new beginning based on truth. So I feel as if you may not have expressed um, the love that you have for this person or the deep connection that you have for this person. And I feel as if when they come in and speak their truth, read between the lines, okay? Because you may get a little golden nugget um, that I feel is going to put a smile on your face. With this temperance card, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could have Sagittarius. Also as well with this temperance card coming in the middle of your reading right next to um, the uh, Six of Cups here. I feel as if this is divine intervention. It almost feels as if the two of you have of evidently lived past lives. But whatever kind of, um, kind of went away with this connection feels as though... It's time for you guys to come back together because you're supposed to be together in this lifetime. All right. May have made a soul contract with this person. And I feel with the ace of uh, wands in reverse, I feel as if this person has a lot of passion for you, but they may have... Um, they may want to temper that down a little bit. That may be what Divine Spirit Universe was working on to transform them. They may have come towards you a little bit too passionate when it came to communication and um, maybe expressing, um, you know, there are some things that are just best left unsaid. Uh, Capricorns, it feels like that kind of energy. I feel as if they have a lot of passion for you. I feel that they do want a new beginning, but I feel that the passion that they have for you they are tempering that down, all right? They also may not be sure whether or not you want a new beginning with them. Not taking action, not taking action to speak their truth because they're not sure about what you want. And yeah, there's been some sort of misunderstanding, battles around communication. Oh gosh, you know something, Taurus got this as well, and Virgo in some respects. Whatever it is, communication was just not where it's supposed to have been. And I feel as if um, whoever you are connecting to, they were quite heartbroken. That's why they pulled back any action to speak their truth. Um, any hope, they may have lost hope um, that there is a new beginning. But I feel as if they do want to put these battles behind them. All right. Yeah, they do look at that with the Three of Cups. I feel as if this person is being patient uh, with you to, to, to give some time um, for you both to perhaps be apart, to breathe, to re-energize, call each other in <laughs> uh, spiritually. And I feel this person does want to spend some time with you. They've got a lot of love for you. Um, and I feel as if they want to celebrate this connection. And I feel as though that they may have literally called in uh, reinforcements spiritually. I feel like whoever you're connecting to might be quite divinely guided. So they kind of knew to call in spirit divine universe, your higher selves, to kind of encourage you or help to show them how you can re how they can reconcile this situation of poor communication, arguments, disagreements. And look at that, yeah, temperance. And I feel that you were doing the same. <laughs> 
You both have been calling in, I feel, your spirit teams to guide you as to how to best move this connection forward. And I feel on your side, with that empress, come, empress coming in, I feel that this is who uh, you see as an empress energy, whether they are male or female. They are somebody that holds, has high standards, somebody that you think the world of, somebody that you probably want to marry, settle down with, have children with. Um, they're the all round perfect package and you miss them. And I feel that you have been reaching out because you want to reconcile. You recognize that this person is somebody that you've lived many many lives with okay and you would be correct i feel as if both of you with temperance coming in here have been reaching out to divine spirit universe through prayers affirmations manifestations intentions to uh, reconcile to both show it's like you're both asking divine spirit universe show me the way to uh, my my soulmate uh help us to come together to sort this out and i feel as if that's going to be answered this weekend beautiful sagittarius obviously coming in quite strongly oh, my gay days can't even make that up the six of cups yeah you strongly strongly feel as if this person is your soulmate i feel as though you may also recognize that they see you as their soulmate as well and that they miss you it almost feels as if, um, Capricorn, you both are quite telepathic. You may be, this could be a twin flame. I'm not seeing a twin flame card here or ultimate soulmate other than um, you guys have lived many, many lives with each other. But it feels as if you are missing them and you know that they are missing you. All right. Um, and I feel as if you both have been calling each other in, wanting reconciliation, wanting um, to, to move past uh, whatever um, created uh, this lap, you know, stops them from taking action, coming towards you, uh, speaking their truth, that they want a new beginning, um, putting an end to this battle of poor communication. Um, yeah, so I feel as if both of you kind of turn to your spirit teams. If in doubt, huh, aren't spirit, divine, universe, your higher self, they're not going to let you down. And look at that, yeah, you both have got a second opportunity here. You will prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas. So I feel as though, um, I feel that you're being guided to give each other the opportunity because there is a second chance here of reconciliation. And I feel as if you're being guided that you will prove yourself. So if you didn't speak how you feel, um, if communication wasn't so great, I feel as if that is going to be improved because you have a greater awareness of that is what um, was the blocker for this connection. <clears throat> My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your advice messages? Thank you. And we have patience. The tide will come in when it's ready. Now you've got two cards representing patience and you've got a third message of patience. So I feel as if you're being guided. Guess what, Capricorn? To be patient because this reconciliation is coming towards you. And it's because I feel both of you are on the same page because both of you are calling each other in. And that may be the awareness that I feel that is going to put a smile on your face and communicate things left unsaid will never reach the shore so i feel as if communication was a big issue between the two of you and i feel that this time round as you get a second opportunity that this is the time to improve communications be aware that communication was a key factor and hold on to hope because I feel as if um, you both are definitely come into, coming into union. It may not happen this weekend, um, but I feel as if this weekend you're both going to start the ball rolling of this reconciliation coming in because I feel genuinely that you both have been calling each other in. Look at that. Two temperances, two six of cups. Uh, temperances for me is divine guidance. Six of cups is past lives. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this is a twin flame, but you both are on the same page right now, which is really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, Capricorn, for you. If this message resonates, please click click that subscription button. Subscribe if you haven't done. Um, 
yeah, click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.